What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Disclaimer, the video game you guys are watching is The Last of Us Multiplayer and I did have a great time playing this. If you're prone to having seizures or releasing bowel movements at the site of awesomeness, please do not watch this video. Send it to your friends and share it with them because it's pretty epic. I want to talk to you guys today about The Last of Us Nathan Drake Collection that will be coming to PlayStation 4 very soon. This game has just been announced and it's been confirmed by Naughty Dog and is already in the news. There's lots and lots of people who have a lot to say about it and I kind of wanted to weigh in. Now if you guys don't know, The Last of Us is a pivotal AAA PlayStation franchise that has soared to the top of the charts during each one of the three releases and even did really well, well on the PlayStation Vita. Uncharted is an amazing game and Nathan Drake is and forever will be a classic video game character uh, and it's a really awesome game. So if you guys never had the opportunity to play it, this PlayStation 4 release is really, really epic. You get 1, 2, and 3, all up res to 1080p and 60 frames per second, so that's much better than the original releases. This game also has a great pre-order bonus. If you pre-order it, you get the, the Part 4, Uncharted 4 Thief's End multiplayer beta. So you get to actually check out the new multiplayer and see the evolution of the previous game's multiplayer. Now speaking of multiplayer, Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 had great multiplayer that does not appear to be in this package. That's right, the Nathan Drake Collection comes with all three games, up res, the uh, beta access to Uncharted 4 Thieves ends multiplayer, but no standalone multiplayer for the original multiplayer modes for Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3. A lot of people are upset, a lot of people are saying this is lazy, a lot of people are saying it's unacceptable, and I just want to weigh in on it. Is this unacceptable? Hell no, I think that this is okay. Uh, the fact is, Uncharted 2 and 3 servers are still going. If you guys want to play that game, you can go play it right now. Uh, I think Naughty Dog and Sony have a different uh, audience, a core audience that they are targeting right now, and I don't think they're necessarily targeting old Uncharted fans. If you guys didn't know, the PlayStation 4 is selling like hotcakes. They're probably close to 24 million sold, maybe even more at this point. And so you're going to take into account, in just 16 months, the PS4 has pulled tons of Xbox 360 gamers and brought them over to the PlayStation ecosystem. Now you guys know how the fan wars go. When you're on the Xbox, fuck Sony. When you're on Sony, fuck the Xbox. And those guys who migrated from the Xbox 360 to the PlayStation 4 have been saying fuck Uncharted for many years. I know people who have never had an opportunity to play an Uncharted game who have a PS4 now and are really looking forward to playing some PlayStation centric experiences. I know lots of people who play this game who never had a PS4 or PS3 before and now they got one and it's one of the best experiences they, they've ever had. So there's tons of people who are new adopters to the PlayStation ecosystem who are looking forward to playing some of the AAA titles that really resonated with PlayStation gamers and I have to say Uncharted is one of them. Now this missing online multiplayer mode will that hurt gamers? No. Like I said if you really want to play that you can still play it on the PS3. I think that Naughty Dog and Sony is aiming at these new adopters. They want to give people who are just jumping into Sony the opportunity to get to know who Nathan Drake is, the opportunity to see the world that he lives in and what populates that world, to be able to experience these amazing set pieces and get ready for Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. I think that this is just the rollout rug for gamers so people can catch up to what's been going on and see how important Nathan Drake is and who he is and how his morals work and his goals in life and his ambitions. I think that's really what the focus is at this point. I don't think it's really that big of a deal that there's no multiplayer. I think that once Uncharted 4 releases, everybody is going to be playing that multiplayer, which of course will be the evolution of multiplayer modes from Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3. And that's just my opinion. I think that it's great that they released this. I don't think that this is a cash grab at all. This is not a game like Sleeping Dogs. This is a game that actually has a legitimate reason to be here. Just like the Master Chief Collection. If you had never been on the Xbox platform and you went to the Xbox One and you finally had a chance to see what Master Chief was a, a, about or what Halo was about, the Master Chief Collection would be a, a fantastic way to get to know that world. Now, on the other flip side of that coin, 
Halo is very well known for its multiplayer. Uncharted is not. Uncharted is known predominantly as a single player campaign experience with huge set pieces and amazing action. That's just the way it is. Now I know there's a small demographic of people who play Uncharted exclusively for the multiplayer, but you gotta look at the big picture. That's not what a majority of people are doing. More and more people play Uncharted for the single player aspect and not for the multiplayer. Now with the beta access to Uncharted 4 at Thief's End, everybody will be used to the, the new evolution of the multiplayer mode, and once that game drops next year, everybody will be on that. Those are my thoughts on it. I think it's a good thing. I'm happy that uh, Naughty Dog and Sony are giving the new adopters an opportunity to play this game and get to know the world. I think it's, if anything, it might be a slight downer that people don't get an opportunity to play the multiplayer mode just yet, but part four is right around the corner, and that's all you gotta think about. Get your Uncharted collection, download them, play them, and enjoy the world. And when Uncharted 4 comes out, we'll all be in there together kicking each other's ass in multiplayer mode. You guys be sure to stay through to the end of this video. It has a very, very epic ending, and I really enjoyed making it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. right on you. Level three.
years left. I don't know if I'll be back. Alright guys, we gotta stick together. Stupidness, come over here by us, man. Even if you gotta run. Fleet man! Come He's sniping from that top, be careful. Bandage, bandage, keep going. Here comes, here comes, get ready, get ready. Oh, shit! Awesome, amazing. Oh, nice. Behind you, behind you, turn around, turn around. There's one right in front of me and wait for him to come around. Good job. Oh my god. Good job. That is so awesome.